thundering herd of Buffalo is hard on fences. And when you talk about thundering herds, you aren't just being poetic. 1,500 head of Buffalo can make the ground shake, literally. And watching a Buffalo roundup can be an experience you can feel as well as see. A Buffalo is a one to 2,000 pound wild animal. And when one hits a fence, it can break it. When several hundred hit a fence, they can tear it up. So fixing fence is one of the essential preparations for the roundup. Another essential preparation is getting ready for the human herd. The viewing stands, the portable toilets, and parking lots all have to be set up to accommodate the increasing number of spectators that have been showing up in recent years. You know, us old-timers can remember when we probably had two or 300 spectators on the hill uh, watching the buffalo come in. Last year, we had approximately 9,000. And they come from all over the world to see the park rangers and volunteer drovers bring 1,500 wild bison into the Custer State Park buffalo corrals. Many of the volunteers are cowboys from western ranches. But running buffalo isn't like running cattle. And park personnel usually brief them on the differences. For one thing, a buffalo can run as fast as a horse. And when herding buffalo, things happen much more quickly. Different from beef cattle, where you're trailing them and, and pushing them. Uh, the buffalo, once you get them going, it's keeping up and flanking them and steering them where you would like to try and have them go. The Buffalo Roundup is necessary so that park herd managers can count, brand, vaccinate, and prepare some of the animals for sale later in the fall. The sale of buffalo is a major part of Custer State Park's income. Last year, buffalo sales amounted to over a quarter of a million dollars. It's a moneymaker in other ways as well. The Roundup is bringing in more tourists at a time of the year when tourist numbers tend to drop off. So the Roundup is a good thing for local businesses. And finally, the Roundup is also popular with another local group that depends on the tourist trade. These local panhandlers intend to make out like bandits again this year. In Custer State Park, Al Van Zee, Fox 7 News.